Peggy 18. You're their only hope. They're counting on you. Since Alone in the Dark, I've always wanted to make another survival horror game. Over the years, the genre has matured, and I observed what became of the other survival horror titles out there. I said to myself, now's the time. It's time to make something different. It's also the right time to rebuild a team on a more human scale from back in the day. Two Dark's gameplay was born out of a need to make something quite different. It seemed to me survival horror games have become rather egotistical. I wanted to make a horror game altruistic. In other words, to do something else than save your own skin. In fact, to save kids. I truly wanted a gameplay which was unique, unpredictable, and above all, which doesn't take players by the hand. We take on the role of Mr. Smith, who will lose his wife and kids under tragic circumstances, and thereafter he will try to find his kidnapped children. The start of the game happens seven years after. Smith has fallen into a deep depression since he's not found his children, and he's going to be confronted by all the horror of Gloomywood. I wanted Too Dark to have a soul, and for me, in order for a game or any collaborative piece of work to have a soul, all members of the team must feel comfortable enough to put a bit of themselves into it, to put their heart into it. And then, at the end, for reasons unknown, the game will have something special, a feeling for the player. In Too Dark, Smith searches for his children. He leads an investigation, as in his former days as a cop, and he will find clues of psychopaths. From there, he's led to save other kids carried away by these psycho killers, and eventually, he might be reunited with his own. <laughs> the player must be clever, must observe all that's going on around him in order to discover these psycho killers, as there is only one. Over the course of the game, the player plunges into the horror by discovering the reason behind the abductions and the motivation of these characters and their psyche. The gameplay of Too Dark is an explosive mix of different mechanics. It's an adventure game, but with dialogue. A game of stealth, you have to stay in the dark a lot, but its foremost and main component is to save the kids. The game's hero, Mr. Smith, is not necessarily a superhero. He's someone quite truly vulnerable. For this reason, it's very necessary to use stealth and exploration to successfully navigate through the game's challenges. What interested me in Too Dark was being able to deal with more adult topics, subjects which are rarely dealt with in video games and quite difficult to address. Even so, we tackle children in danger and kidnapping. In the game, players who are already parents will probably not have the same reactions as those of an adolescent player. Naturally, because parents will be more aware of the need to be careful with these kids. And this could considerably change the way they learn about the story and gameplay. What really excites me about Too Dark is its emerging gameplay and the diversity of situations created which players will encounter. No player should see the same thing in this game. <gasps> <laughs>